What's happening folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more electronic, and we're returning to Raise the Pressure, 1996. And the next track is How Long? That's the name. It sounds like a question about time or temporal duration. I suppose it could be a physical length, but ultimately my expectation would be more in regard to time. Either way, it's a question, it's not a statement. So it's inquiring about some situation, maybe the duration of a relationship, or perhaps the amount of time before something happens, or the amount of time remaining before whatever is approaching occurs or arrives. So, yeah, again, knowing that a lot of their tunes have a, an electronic bent, pun I suppose unavoidable, I wouldn't expect this to be maybe a full narrative, but a snapshot, a concept. I guess we'll see in practice. Let's listen. This is electronic. The track is How Long, and it's from the 1996 album Raise the Pressure. to stay but it can't be it's kind of juvenile of me there's something I'm missing why can't we agree I have the sound for a thousand years such a sad song it goes for
little bit. It's one of those where it's sort of doing a proper cold ending, but also fading at the same time. So yeah, another really cool one, and an interesting contrast. The song felt warm and pleasant and comfortable, but the lyrics sounded sad, and the idea of... Although I say that, there were a couple lines that felt still hopeful, that, you know, I wouldn't deep wouldn't dream of walking away, I forget exactly what the phrasing was, but that he wasn't going to leave and he wouldn't even think of that, but it is a sad song and it extends for a thousand years or it's been around for a thousand years, so maybe the idea of, you know, as long as humans have had on some level monogamous relationships, there's heartache, there's pain, jealousy, all these things which make them difficult and hard to endure, but again, it sounds like the narrator is still committed. It sounds like he wants the relationship to continue. So yeah, a mixture of sad lines with a very warm and pleasant sound sonically. I love that deep sort of metallic synth that was kind of the backbone of the tune. I like also the the soft and fluid melody. There was a bit of acid in there. I love that rapid fire. I think it was a hi-hat. So some of the percussion was really well oriented or configured. And also the vocals, they had that same comfortable, inviting type of sound to them. So yeah, a cool track, and I like the breakbeat you know, structure overall. Definitely had a, a sort of dance floor feel, even if the melody and the sentiment of the tune felt a bit more you know, sitting on a hill somewhere thinking about your life or relationships or maybe humanity as a whole. But yeah, it sounded like he's speaking about something timeless and saying that, you know, how long? Well, at least for another thousand years, and it's been this way for a thousand years already. So yeah, it sounds like a, the answer to that question is a bit indefinite or maybe infinite. Nevertheless, I did really enjoy the sonics on this one, and again, any tune that sneaks in a little bit of acid sound into a pop tune, I'm always going to be fond of, so shout out to that, shout out to Luca, we'll see if she wants to shift into the seat here, nope, she's going to go off the front, anyway, let me know what you think, I'll see you next time, peace.